Hello everyone. In this video, we will be speaking about the difference between the is blank and the is empty methods. So here's a little bit of an intro on each. The is empty method returns true if the string is empty. So even if it has a, a space, then it's not considered empty. In other words, I've got it somewhere here. Only if the string length counts is equal to zero, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. On the other hand, the is blank method returns true if the string is empty or has only spaces. Otherwise, it returns false. So we can already see the main difference between them. The empty means it should be really empty, as in not even a space, whereas the blank uh, means it's an empty string or a string that only has spaces is considered blank. So the is blank method accepts spaces while the is empty method does not. So let's start off with an example. I'm going to declare a string, an empty string. Um, let's call it a, a string, basically, no particular. Use a camel case, a string. Uh, string is equal to, well, let's make that our first string, is equal to an empty string. And then declare a string that is blank, i.e. has one or more spaces. So it's still considered a blank string. Call it string two. And let's give it one space, one. So that's a blank string, but it's not empty. So it is, is this considered empty? No, because its length in this case is not zero. Only a string with, link, with length zero counts as empty. So I hope it's making more sense now as we go. Let's declare our third string that has some letters. So obviously this is neither empty nor, nor blank. Okay, so we've got some more talk over here going on. A string with only a space is not considered empty, but it is considered blank. So that's sort of like a summary. Let's check if these strings are empty or not using the is empty method. So we're asking, is this empty? We want to get either true or, or false, depending on the outcome. So we'll use the is empty in the first instance. And we kind of want to do the same for the others, the, the other two. So we're checking is string two and is string three. Are they empty or not? Let's give this a run. So the first one is empty, yes. The second one is not empty because it's got that one space. And the third one is obviously also not empty, so false because it's got that string. Now let's repeat the same to check if they are blank. And this will kind of give us sort of more of a visual on the blank method. We just want to change our messages though, because we're checking here if this is blank. And also we are testing with the blank method, making sure we capitalize the B in blank. All right, so let's see what we get. Check if these are blank or not. So the difference would be the first one is blank, but the second one is also blank. So that's the main difference is it counts spaces as blank as well while the third one is obviously not blank because it's got in some values. So I hope this kind of um, gives you an idea on the difference between the is blank and the is empty. I'm just having a separator here that makes a difference in line. So yeah, maybe I'll delete three more of these, which is not very significant. But yeah, I hope you see the difference now. So if it's empty, it has to be absolutely zero length. That's how we get the true. In this case, there's a length there going on, so there's a space, so it gave us false. Obviously, the third one would be false in both cases because the, the string in number three is neither empty nor blank, whereas the second one over here, oh, sorry, the first two are obviously counted as blank because even if we add more spaces in the second string, that will still give us true because with the blank string, it includes the spaces. I hope this makes more sense, and I'll see you in the next one.